Good afternoon. My name is Akini Roke. I'm going to be doing the uh, OES product uh, description presentation. And <clears throat> this is targeted towards uh, MasterCard, MasterCard grants. OK, so the pictures you are looking at here are different lecturers or teachers in our community. And they are notable people. And the problem here is that we have not been able to capture their details, how they teach for the uh, future generation to learn from. And so this is what uh, OES is going to be doing. It's going to be actually reaching out on teachers, talented teachers' knowledge uh, and skill capturing, uh, being able to retain it, uh, content access development, uh, out of school students' support, and uh, bridging in inclusiveness challenges between students and uh, teachers' content, uh, monetizing their content for them to be able to earn even when they retire. So um, these are other benefits. It goes to the learners and to the lecturers and the, to the government. So now this, I'm going to be talking a bit about this. This is talking about how we create our content. We use Bloom Taxonomy, uh, which feeds on our cognitive domain area. And so which are learning sciences that we are actually focusing on. Uh, we digitize content, we have video, we turn it to, we speak to those content after the presentation, and we move it to class, we upload it into our classroom interface on OES, and it's available for learners to be able to consume, and also the, uh, the facilitators, which are the teachers, also to earn from. This is our model, this is the model we use. Uh, and I'm not going to talk more about it, but the XR, ML is the AR introduction to our OES and OER, which is online education resource. This is where we, this is how we upload it. We up, after we've created each video, we upload it into uh, our YouTube for accessibility, you know. And these are all the modules inside OES, uh, performance, stakeholders, student, but student management systems where they pick lectures. So this is OES uh, login interface. Um, this is the dashboard for OES. Um, this is where they, uh, you monitor what's going on and the student, the teachers can upload all the content, uh, lectures that student needs. This is a scheme of work, which is customized for that particular school in question. Um, this is a module. These are the modules that is being taught on in, in, in the classroom. And this is where the uh, students receive their lectures. And this is where, uh, the, 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 this is the lecture interface. So I'm going to be moving to the, to the, okay, before I move on, this is the AR, the ML interface for lab, uh, our lab on OES, and this is our mobile aspect. This is our mobile, uh, uh, which has the same thing as that of online, uh, the one we have online. So I'm going to pause, I'm going to be moving to our other aspect, to the live demo of OES. So this is OES interface um, online go to oes.com.ng, you see it there. And when you click on uh, sign in, it takes you, to, it takes you to our login uh, interface. This is where we, uh, after we, this is where we sign in. Uh, this, this application base is based on row. Uh, when you sign in, uh, is either we sign in as a, as a student or we sign in as an administrator or a lecturer, you know. When you sign in, you'll be able to profile content on this interface. You see, this is where you create notes. This is where you create curriculum. This is where you create uh, uh, your, your, your lectures. I mean, the lectures that you have already converted to video, this is where you create it. So the video that has been created, um, I'm now on the, uh, the this is a teacher's management, uh, te teacher's management system. The video that has been created, this is where it's gonna be uploaded. Uh, you can see the YouTube, the YouTube link here, ID, it captures the video automatically. And so that the student can now start seeing the video wherever, uh, where, whenever they are watching it at the student management system. I'm going to be showing you the student management system now. And, you know, I talked about the scheme of work. This is where the scheme of work should, is being, you know, uh, selected. This is where you see the scheme of work and you pick a scheme of work, you create a video about it, and you showcase it. So let me show you about the student's part. So if you rewind the video, you realize that the same school, we are seeing the same school, this is the student management system, you can now pick the lectures from here, and when you pick the lecture, you see all the, 
see the lectures here and you can click on this to enter the lecture.